This is the race committee. We've now passed the wind test, and this race is live. All I'm going to say is, oh, this start could be a shaky one. <laughs> Wait and see. A Lingy Red Bull racing had a ripper of a start last time up at the wind was better and Lingy Red Bull Racing look like they've come off the foils here. No, but no. They need to tack. They need to tack here and make sure they're within the boundary. Otherwise they will get a boundary penalty, which they do not need. So they've got a big job now to try and re-accelerate. Boat Price does not want to accelerate forward nice here work. in these light conditions when you here. spin it that hard in displacement mode. Okay, so, uh, Alingi and uh, uh, Britannia well late into the it might be too late gate. For that. Too late, past 210. So, Alingi Rebel the Racing the asking for a 15 minute delay, but I feel they there. may have pulled their so car too late. Unfortunately, the delay card needs to be and requested the before for, um, the warning yeah, system. Yeah, Corner so, and attack, you heard there from so, yeah. Mel Roberts, penalty. This is the umpires, boundary penalty Switzerland, boundary penalty Switzerland. So the Swiss team absolutely needing to accelerate here, very, very light where they are, so they will need to accelerate, get the boat foiling, enter, and then try and make the start. Pressure now on the British to keep on the foils. So you see... A Lingy the there, the out of right, bounds boy. with a penalty. Yeah, the British now, time down. on distance, so the Swiss very much on the back foot. They need to dig the boat out of the water here. Looks like they're accelerating. Just about on the foil, so they need a little puff here. They're up, they're up with 60 seconds to go and aiming towards the start line. A Lingy Red Bull racing. Could you ask for anything more, but they have the penalty. And we failed entry Switzerland. It is Britannia off the foils. Oh, this is all on, so... The Swiss still have to enter and clear their penalty, so the penalty will be a get behind penalty, so they still have to be behind the British at the start, so they've got a time there run now to make sure they, they're behind, watch the penalty and then stay in the race. And Miss Britannia up to pace. So Lunar Rock, uh, sorry, Alingi Rebel Racing will need to tap and dip, wash their penalty. Big push, not all We are finally racing in the last Louis Vuitton, Vuitton Cup semi-final of the day. British rolling immediately into attack there. Just keeping their boat on the foils. Deep cambers in their sails, so max power there. On in the Britannia, doing a nice job. Good pressure here. Racing needing to wash off that penalty. Not sure how far they've got to go with that penalty, but they should be fairly close. Penalty's clear, penalty's clear. So as we've seen in the past, very, very difficult to keep the boats on the foils here. A lot of pressure on both teams to stay foiling. Lingy Rebel Racing. A huge amount of work ahead of them here in this race. So early on, coming off the foils in that pre-start, just hitting them on the back foot. This is the race committee. We are moving the leeward gate, shifting the course axis to 200. Pulling here, 19 knots. Sorry, coming back up. Let's go to Chaser Zero, Peter List. What do you make of that? I the well, it's, just, it's all about who can keep uh, foiling. And I uh, look at the two boats, and Alingi Red Bull Racing look to have 
you know, the harder time keeping the boat up all the time. Um, Ineos looks just a little bit more comfortable. They can throw the boat round. The boat looks just a little bit more forgiving. Every manoeuvre high risk. You've really got to save it for maximum wind pressure. It's been Everything. so smooth in execution. Nice hit in two. Getting close here. Okay. Come by here. Come on. Two. Five. Four down. Three. Two. One. Eight. Nine. Two, one, go on board. Nice manoeuvre there on the Ineos Britannia. Beautiful. Bitch control, ride high control in that manoeuvre, so... To keep the boat, boat speed above 26 knots, ideally entering those manoeuvres if they can. Yeah, eventually one in. There'll be recovery. Nice manoeuvre there, Ineos Britannia. Nice and left. It would be uh, nice to lay, but I guess we've got to make a decision early. Um, on board, Ineos Britannia. Look the green wheel indicated that Ben let's Ainsley let's is keep, get some pace on, and go on right the helm turn. at the moment. Dylan Fletcher, course nice management. Good speed here, no slow. Boys. Tactics. So oh, it may have looked like a bit of a cluster, the uh, start of this final race of the day, but... It's turned out OK, at least for Ineos Britannia at this particular, right at this particular okay. point one, of the race. They've completed one uh, leg okay. of six in conditions okay. that are challenging both teams. And they will take the left-hand we'll mark, back. as you Go see, lower. right for them. I will, just a sec. And get around it, and they head on the first Looking downward down leg of okay. the fourth okay. race of these down. Louis That's Vuitton no Cup semi-finals. The road to the challenge for the old mug gets just a little yeah. bit closer, but Come you've got to the win the Louis Vuitton Cup yeah, first and foremost. Ineos Britannia did so well in yeah. that manoeuvre. <laughs> it looked quite dodgy in the middle. They were down yeah, to 20 good. knots, but just managed to yeah. power up and accelerate. Keep flying. Yeah. Nice yeah. work. Okay. Three, stand by. Yep. Big pressure on Lingi. Rebel racing to stay on the foils here because they need to keep in touch. It's puffy, shifty, light air day as it is at the moment, so they do execute, but a big deficit to make up to the British who have been able to keep their boat on the foils since the pre-start. Leggy Red Bull racing now in catch-up mode. I don't think they have that button on their, their boat, but that's what it's all about. You've got to catch up now, and we know how quick Enios has been. They know how quick Enios is after that two-minute, five-second loss in the their opening race of the day. Nice little puff of breeze there at the top. You can see on the water there and how quickly the boat accelerated. So really important for the crew on board to identify and those puffs and make fast. sure that you're manoeuvring and staying in those and joining so all those dots keep together. The pressure, into the keep the boat on its foils and going That's fast. Let's go to chase zero. Peter Lester, what's the wind out doing from that second half of the course? Top of the course looks a little bit, um, you know, a little bit steadier, a little bit more predictable. That's the bottom of the course that looks really, really funky, and uh, that's the, the bit that Ineos will need to navigate first. But she, Ineos boat just looks a little bit easier to sail, and uh, it keeps foiling at quite a low speed. That's so why I just look out the window. Uh, Lingy Red Bull Racing did a jibe and they did a big sideways skid. They saved it, they keep the boat on the foils. Yeah, it's looking nice along this side at the moment. Little past it, yeah, a little past it. Really big foil ventilation there, as Peter said, and popped back up again. They just were lucky that they had enough boat speed. Lingy Red Bull Racing, as we're watching, in Os Britannia, have to execute well. See the depth of the mainsail there. Absolutely as deep as you can get it for, for max power. Sailing the boat nicely. Bias at the moment here. I'm not sure. I'm going for our gas. Yeah, I think let's go. 
Right turn here. Okay. Right there, yeah. Looks yeah, comfortable. Sight right gloves are doing a lot of work in conditions that are going up and down right like a yo yo, but they will complete the second leg yeah, yeah. and head upwind on the third of six okay. in this fourth Louis Vuitton One. Cup semi final. Okay. Two. One. Four down here. Two. One. Eight. Turning. Keep Back. Nice solid manoeuvre there by the British team. It's going to keep executing these light air manoeuvres well. Certainly made some improvements in their light air attacking ability over the past couple of weeks. to lay this bottom gate in front and not have to do another manoeuvre if they can avoid it. Very, very marginal conditions at the bottom of the course. Just know everything from this time. Mark, show me the pressure on the back. Next one has a round up. As the player on that in five. Lingy Red Bull Three. Racing coming in to Two. complete the second leg. It was one minute, yeah. 18 seconds at the top gate. And just a tad over that at the bottom. That's one minute and 22 four. seconds. Long way to go. It's a rough old day for a Lingy Red Bull Racing in yeah, both one. Let's right. Uh, mode for the breeze, uh, yeah. if we can. This is the race committee. We are moving the leeward gate, shifting the course Pressure access nice. to 210. Pressure now. Entry is Nine. on now. Five, two, one. Still got a few shifts coming down the course here, and the race committee just realigning the course for the shifty breeze to make sure it's dead into the wind, which is a nice true even course for both teams. One of us. You see the big right-hand shift there yeah, of the British, that big wind, so up. picking some really nice fast, lanes on this upwind. Ineos Britannia and the coaching team will be happy that the guys are sailing with their eyeballs open. Get on a little right here. Right, it looks like with Four. the right breeze, an increase in pressure has sort of wafted in. They've now got between 8 and 10 knots across the course. Five. The foil trimmers on Ineos Britannia are actually at the back of the boat, which is a different philosophy to what the other teams have got with their cyclos at the back. So both foil trimmers there. Lee McMillan, Glenn Mott. Square at the top here, it's not a huge amount, isn't it? Yeah, just over the side of the boat, here, plus hey. all their screens and actually controlling actually lighter at the top. flight of the boat. Hey, stand by. Really important job. To Looking do at well. the foil a lot. Yeah, push your feet. Two, one, mate. Coming. Two, one. Lee McMillan now on. taking over flight control. Coming for the wind, mate. Couple of them on. Over the side so you get a really good view okay, from where they're sitting. That's probably why they've put their trimmers in those positions. Drive here, ben. Yeah, good. Fantastic view of foil going right. through the water surface, yeah. plus That's all their instrumentation. We are at the halfway <laughs> mark of the last. Louis Vuitton Cup semi-final of the day, day number one. Remember, the first boat to five race wins will head into the Louis Vuitton Cup final. Ineos Britannia are on course to two, but it's only halfway. Okay, any time, stand by. Two, one, four, down. One, eight, Lovely shot eight, of the breeze eight, there. We don't need the wind field to see it there. A lot more pressure at the top end of the track. Okay. 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 Okay.
That's right, that's. Huge ride here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They've got a lot of catching up to do. One Eight minute and five. twenty, it was one twenty one at the bottom. Nice one. One twenty. Nice tack Get on the right tier. Bear away there for Alinghi Red Bull Racing. Fantastic shot on their foils. Same downwind there, thirty seven knots in only about seven or eight knots of breeze, which is they're getting downwind. British still having to execute every manoeuvre really well there. In these lighter conditions, the foils are not going as fast through the water as they are when the boats are going quicker in big breeze. So having to work a little harder, a little bit more flat down. So a little bit like an aeroplane wing with a slow flying aircraft where you put the flaps down. Lee McMillan. Looking over the side there, watching the ride height, looking at his camera, looking at the spray rails. You see the orange mark there as a ride height guide for him, plus the tips. Very important job for all the teams. Enios Britannia steaming into the bottom gate to complete their fourth leg. They won't be mucking around. Two legs to go. They want that solid advantage in the Louis Vuitton Cup semi-finals. They come in at pace, coming in hot. Come by here, Leroy. Okay, I have four. Two, one, me. Quite well. Ten, one, go on. That choreography between both foil trimmers is super important. Both independently controlling their foils, plus potentially the pitch trim of the boat. Really, really important there to get get right. Nice pressure in two. Yeah. Long tempo here. On board the chase boat for Ineos Britannia coach Rob Wilson. Should we forget about the start and talk about the race? Get pressure this way. Yeah, yeah, that sounds sounds good. Like they, um, it was a real tricky start. Um, we were super close coming off the foils, uh, but managed to just keep up. Uh, Elingi obviously came off, um, which gave him the penalty that gave us uh, a nice buffer. One thing that's noticeable is coming through these last group of races at the end of the round robins until the, today as well is your ability to get yourself out of trouble quickly and how well the boat is flying in light air. Yeah, no, we're real, really pleased with uh, the performance, and you know, I, I think that comes a lot down to uh, all the hard work the shore team are doing, and and the uh, the guys in the performance team. So it's a uh, massive credit to them to, to push it forward like they have. All right, thanks, mate. Cheers, buddy. Lingy Red Bull Racing now completed four legs, uh, but they've lost a lot of time on that downward leg. Two to go. For the and Swiss Challenger. Ryan here. Metro and Nicola La. Flight control to the right. for the Lingy Rebel Racing. Lead the left. Their op oppos, Lee McMillan, Led and Mont, sort of doing the same job Ice on Lingy Rebel Racing, flying the boat. The They're actually in the flight positions well now. forward on the boat. Nice. And uh, well done. Nicola there concentrating hard on flying the boat accurately. The more accurately, you, as a foil trimmer, you fly the boat, the better the performance. So absolutely super critical job as is steering and trimming the sails. It's a real juggle, 3D sailing. Pressure back in five. This is the race committee. We are moving the finish line, lengthening the leg to 1.4 nautical miles. Going back to the right and yep. parallel on the lines. That's always a good sign, making the course longer. Might <laughs> be a little higher mode here. I think taking mate. 
Mitchell straight in. Do you have a bit in the bag in case we go down. right? Yeah, recover that tempo. Port Helmsman, Dylan Fletcher. I mean, the, the synchronicity between this you team, the transition over the last couple of weeks, yeah, has really right. been off the scale, and particularly for Dylan Fletcher. Cup rookie, really nice. taking it on. Yeah, every well, race is just absolutely golden at the moment for Dylan, as it is for the whole team. He does pretend you complete the one, last two, upwind three, four, leg, and they turn for home. They turn for home with a potential 2-0 lead on a Lingy Red Bull Racing sitting, waiting. On the back. The wet getting put into those pedals. Hats off to all the cyclists today in these tricky, puffy conditions. Lots of gear changes, way harder to sail a boat in these conditions than it is when it's 15 or 16 knots. The lighter it is, the trickier it is in most cases. On Ineos, two of the cyclers are, are, are always have a sailing background, and I'm sure they have other functions. Quite often you see them heads up actually looking at things. That is Luke Parkinson. Offshore sailor, cup sailor, regular with Ben Ainsley. Bit for tempo, Parker. Long this way at the moment. Hands on the finish here, right? Yeah. Bill's squeeze. Hey, touch more pressure in five. Open course now. Same that before. Very nice pressure here. Yeah. Kind of the Red Bull Racing coming up to complete the fifth leg of the like six. On our left. And the debrief will be long, Thank it'll you. hurt, but that's what you've got to expect when you're racing in the America's Cup. Little moments cost big. They get around it, both boards down, finally get one up, and they're away again, heading for home. Last, base pressure in front. 25 to Benary. Definitely looks like that slightly more pressure increasing. Off that uh, top end of the course out that side. So I think he choosing to do the same manoeuvre as they did in the last leg, the tack bear away. Executing both manoeuvres really well. Okay, keep going. Keep a little bit of that. now. There's a real dialogue between both sides on Ines Britannia, and I'm not sure we're quite hearing that to the same extent on Alinghi. You know, decisions seem to evolve on Ines Britannia, they're discussed in advance. They've got to be intuitive, don't they? Don't know what the other sort of thinking. They just have pure trust in each other that what they've decided is the, the way to go. Enios Britannia, the official challenger of record, are steaming home on the first day of the Louis Vuitton Cup okay, finals. And and when they cross the line, the they will go 2-0 yeah, 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 against yeah, nice, nice work, Alinghi Red Solid. Bull Racing. Here, what a start to the Fine. day of the semi-finals. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Yeah, keep the uh, line up. Yep. The Not much more we can say line. about yeah, Ineos Britannia. We've said it for the last four or five races. Uh, they have, they've got a handle on their boat. Uh, and boy, they obviously are happy in the coach boat as well because uh, job well done, they'll be saying. Time for a cup to end a lie down and a debrief. Darby getting a little pat on the head there, as he should. Full team doing a fantastic job, Darby. Very happy with the day. Quite light after the bottom, but not So as we see a Lingy Red Bull Racing uh, coming and down for the then. final time today, what do you think they're going to make of their day, Glenn, and where they need to pick up? Yeah, I think that uh, last uh, pre-start was a real tricky and one for the team, and you know, sailing into two, light conditions and not being able down. to stay on the foils, I think, was really the Achilles heel for getting off the start line in that second race today. So not much you can do when you're on the back foot. They did get going again, but we're just out of it. And 
They'll definitely have some things to work on as a team, but we've seen them sail really, really well in the past, and they'll come out tomorrow, all guns blazing, no question there. A lingy Red Bull racing, they will come across the finish line and they'll finish the day without a win. But remember, it's the first to five race wins if you want to be in the Louis Vuitton Cup final. So never say never in the world of America's Cup racing. But it's been a dominant day on the water for Enios Britannia. Confirmation of that win. One minute and 37 seconds. The first one was two minutes and five. This time, one minute and 37 seconds. So one might say a, an improvement by Alingi Red Bull Racing.